Hey guys, it's Cy back again from Tech Translated and welcome back to another video. Today is an upload in the phone series and I'll just be finishing off processors. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in the last phone series video, I explained what processors were, how they work and much more, but the video was getting quite long so I've split it into two parts. This part is about RAM, it's a supporting component to the processor and really helps your device run throughout the day. So first of all what is RAM? Well it stands for random access memory and when it is being used, which is pretty much all the time, it is loading applications, providing notifications and running your user data in the background. RAM is measured in bytes, but most commonly in gigabytes, which equals 1 billion bytes of information. Just like storage, the more gigabytes you have, the more things you can save. Similarly, in RAM, the more gigabytes you have, the more faster your device will run, open applications, multitask and provide smoother gameplay or videos. Now you could have a quad-core processor, but only have 1 gigabyte of RAM. That's just wasting space in your phone, as the 4 cores don't have much to process or work with. In 2014, we were seeing 2 gigabytes of RAM in some devices, but in 2015, 3 gigabytes of RAM started to appear and became more and more popular as the year went on. But now, in 2016, we have seen 4 gigabytes of RAM in some devices such as the OnePlus 2, Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Ideally, for a device to run smoothly, you need quite a bit of RAM and maybe more than 3 cores in the processor, but it all comes down to the software. If you have a really basic software which doesn't require much, then 1GB of RAM will be more than enough, whereas maybe something like 4GB of RAM would be overkill. However, with the likes of advancing technology and more amazing features such as 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S, the system is more demanding and this is where more than 1GB of RAM is needed. But RAM comes in two different types. SDR RAM which means single data rate RAM and the other is DDR RAM which means double data rate RAM. That's not all though. We then have different rate types so we get the likes of DDR2, DDR3 and DDR4 meaning double data rate type 1, 2, 3 or 4. But for it to be applied into a device it has to be in a circuit or something small and compact. So now we have an even longer acronym DDR SDR RAM meaning double data rate Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory Now you're probably starting to lose a few brain cells or struggling to understand what I just said but don't worry all you need to focus on is DDR which for today's generation is the most fastest and efficient type of RAM not to exclude the numbers following Overall RAM is the component which makes your device run faster it's advancing and getting more efficient at handling and running more things alongside the processor Humans being humans make really long names for something which no one bothers to remember, hence why acronyms are around. Smartphones, laptops and other electronic devices are really becoming better and better by the day and hopefully RAM sees the same fate. So that concludes this video, hopefully you've enjoyed, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, let's try to hit 20 likes as it helps a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, my name is Bisai, I'll catch you next time.